Hello guys, um, it's Kyle with another uh, Cinema 4D commentary, or not commentary, but uh, tutorial. Sorry, I'm used to saying commentary for my uh, Call of Duty gameplays. Um, but I told you guys I'll have one, and uh, here it is. So this is how to make a bullet in Cinema 4D. Now if I go ahead and render this, it does look decently like a bullet. It's just the easier way to make a bullet. Um, it's definitely not um, bad by any means. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. You guys are going to be surprised on how easy it is to make. So um, what you guys need to do is on the scroller of your mouse, click down on your mouse and go over to the third box, the one over here. <laughs> I don't know how to really explain that. And go ahead and click that. Uh, you uh, click down on your scroller to select that again. Then um, how to make your bullet is you want to go up to this little um, snake looking thing that's blue with a plus arrow on it. Hold left click down and go on over to the third one over on the top. So the far right on the top and go over to B spline. So after you select B spline, you have um, a thing right next to your mouse and on the green and what's this? No, I don't want that. That's annoying. Anyways, and on this, just to make sure it's still recording. On this right here, you want to go over the green and red line. So once on the green and red line, you want to go over three, one, two, three, and up three, one, two, three. And try to get on the center as closely as you can. And then you want to click just in between the blue arrow thing and the red arrow just right in the middle so it can curve just like a real bullet in the back so now you want to go over to the green line same line that you're on the same thing and go over three one two three and just go all the way down to the arrow on the um on the x which is right there so now instead of having to do all the coordinates all over again to make it a 3d bullet what you want to do is go to the circle that has the outer box next to it that's right next to the this one that we selected earlier for the B spline. So after you select this, hold and left click down. I go into leather nerves. I don't really know. How to say it's the second one down, meaning the second one on the left. Second row on the left. Go and select that. And what you want to do with your spline is go over to your spline, hold down spline. Why does this keep coming up? Hold down spline and go and drag it right down onto the leather nerves. And once you have that, it will just look like a big mess. But what you want to do is go over here and go to negative 90. So that is on the RB on cord, type in negative 90, go and click enter, and now it seems like it has a bullet. It does look a little bit like a birdcage right now, but um, it will look like a bullet. So then go ahead and select down the clicker scroller thing again, and go out to the regular view, and click down again. Now to be able to select this and move it up and down, don't go on spline. Go ahead and select leather nerves, click leather nerves so you can move it around. Uh, I like just to move it up a little bit and down, so or at an angle, just so it looks kind of like a real bullet. Okay, go ahead and move it over. So this is how it looks like right now. It looks like a little stubby bullet. Now you can keep it like that if you really want to, but if you go over to this little thing that right next to the one that I just selected, right next to the recycle thing, you just uh, select that and go ahead and drag this out. And then to make it skinnier, you want to drag this red thing out too. It's going to make it skinnier. Don't go in. Otherwise, we'll get a fat. Go out. Make it um, shorter. You want to drag it in. Make it uh, not as fat again. Drag it in a little bit more. And uh, now it's starting to look more like a bullet that's not a little skinny one. So once you have that, now the true color of a bullet is not gray. Um, so you want to go down to File, New Material. Go ahead and select Material. And I just like to double click it because sometimes um, it doesn't work that well. So I'll go ahead and drag all these down except for the green one make that go about right here and then drag the top one up I'll tell you the coordinates real quick after I'm done with this okay so the coordinates for blue is 0 green 94 and red is 128 you can probably put that to 30 130 just to make it easier and this one to 195 so 95 130 and 0 go ahead and exit out and go ahead and drag this material the color right up to your bullet and now if you render it it will look a lot more like a bullet shell would look like uh, it looks just like a bullet with the color now if you want to add some light you can um, but then it just looks all funny like that so what you need to do is go over select your light and move it up and out just like that now you can put lights all the way around this but I'm not going to otherwise this will make that tutorial or this tutorial way too long and now it does look a little bit more like a bullet now you can't really see the tip but now you can and uh, there you guys go. That's how to make a bullet in Cinema 4D. And, um, you know, uh, later I should be able to make it go through lettering. That's going to be my next tutorial. That should be on Saturday, I believe. So uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see that. And uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. See you guys later.